Hey guys, RC here back with Football Manager 21. This is episode 9 of our Play the Kids series. Uh, so we're just kind of getting near the end of the first season. Uh, we've got a lot of scores to look at uh, that you can probably see right there, but we'll talk about it and final transfer business when we come back from the intro. Well, as I said, this is episode nine. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content notifications, and let's get into it. So uh, we left off, I believe it was at the beginning of February. We've had a long run of games. Uh, so we lost to Weldstone. I think that was last episode. Bellaricki, we beat 4-2. And I'll let you look at the goal scores right there, uh, but Mudge and Williams. Uh, Dorchester, 5-1 win in a friendly, 1-0 over Chesham, 2-1 over Fromm in a friendly, and then a pair of 1-0 defeats uh, to H&W and Chippenham. We got back on the right track with a 4-0 win against Sutton. Robin Mudge with the hat trick in that one. 3-0 over East Thurrock as Williams had a, a brace. Chelmsford, 2-0 win. 4-1 over Weston and another hat trick for Robin Mudge. Slough, we had a four or Slough, we had a four four draw. That was disappointing. Margo Field was a friendly, and then we just drew two two with Dulwich Hamlet. David Tierney back from international break. Uh, yes, we did have a player go off on international duties. Taking a look at him, uh, so he's now capped at the U twenty level for Ireland. Should have recorded that this uh, yesterday when I was wearing my Ireland shirt, shouldn't I? And uh, then a 2 nothing friendly draw. So today we'll have highlights against Concord, who are currently fourth in the league. And then we'll play Eastley, who are second in the league. We are top of the table, but only by one point over Eastley. So that's going to be a huge match. Uh, Bellaricki are only two points behind us. And Concord are within three, although we have a pretty good goal differential over Bellaricki and Concord. Uh, but you can see we are 16 points clear of falling out of the playoffs. So that's good. Well, actually, 18 points of Thurrock. So we're sitting really good there and fighting bravely against relegation. Uh, we're 45 points clear of Enfield Town. So I don't think that's anything to worry about. You can see the board is extremely happy. We've been getting A plus grades. Uh, player of the month was our. Striker duo of Williams and Mudge. Uh, Mudge, 11 goals in 10 matches with two assists. He's been playing lights out. And, of course, Williams, 35 goals and eight assists in 40 matches. Cook has just come back from that long injury. He missed uh, three months, but he is very solid. Eight in 22, playing very well. So we kind of have a dilemma for that number two striker spot, Cook or Mudge, but you know we're not going to bench Cook right now. So let me get this match played out against Concord. We'll be right back with highlights. We were hoping for a good showing in this game. It was definitely uh, we needed to pull some points, and then we get beaten over the top. Amici splits our defenders, Hemming and Tierney, and beats Murphy into the net. A flick on header from the defense. Williams plays it through to Mudge. He takes a crack from the edge of the box, and that was a brilliant finish. And that equalized in the 68th minute, and that's how it would end. We did have a goal disallowed by Williams, uh, but those don't count, unfortunately. So we have now guaranteed ourselves a playoff spot with the draw. So that is, I guess, good news, but we need to... Uh, you know, we need to, I want the automatic promotion if we can get it. All right, well, let me get up to Eastley, and we'll be back for that kickoff right after this. Heading into this one, Eastley are still one point behind us with a plus one goal differential advantage. So we really need to win this. If we can win this, it opens up a four-point gap. And we play, how many games? Is it 46? It is 46. So... Four-point lead with four to go. 
I'd feel pretty comfortable there. Not guaranteed of anything, but I would feel pretty comfortable. Oh, let's look at transfers. Uh, we brought in uh, Lewis Taylor, a new left back. I think we, uh, we we looked at Johnson Mudge and Rui Martins, I think. Let's take a look at Martins just in case we missed him. Uh, he is, uh, no, we did talk about him. I remember mentioning Portugal. So, but anyway, there's a look. He is improving a little bit. And then we brought in Lewis Taylor from Bath. We actually paid money for him. 3000 up front, another 1300 I believe it was after 50 games. Uh, 23 years old, so young guy stepping into the first team. He's already had 12 starts for us. Three and a half star current, four and a half star potential. Um, eh, you know, he's got the determination that, uh, that one of you, that Sean likes, uh, brave, uh, can't cross, but you know, pretty decent at defending. Uh, he's playing a six, six, one. So we're seeing a really big drop off, uh, down at this level. But, uh, anyway, he's played 134 matches for Bath with two goals and, uh, 12 for us. So he's coming up on, uh, is Mark with the New Saints where he was trained at. Uh, so hopefully he can uh, really just start to develop and, and take over that left back role. Uh, we also brought in Michael Hughes on a free. He is a backup goalkeeper, three-star current, four-star potential. Uh, didn't really need to spend the money uh, because he's making uh, 1300 a month, but we needed a good reserve keeper. Uh, and the keeper that we had is uh, we're going to let go at the end of the season. So this was kind of a look towards the future to make sure we had uh, some some depth there. Just kind of going through, um, we offered trials out to a bunch of the released players that were released by the big uh, English clubs uh, that most of them rejected us, as you can see here. But uh, here's a look, and uh, we'll take a look in the off-season transfer window. Uh, when these guys actually join so we can see their grades. Most of these midfielders you're already familiar with, already on the, on the club, including Slam Dunk. But uh, again, you can see all the trialists. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. All right, we're going to go with Murphy and Goal, a back four of Taylor, Hemmings, Tierney, and Sloan. Johnson and Bissick's in the mid. We're going to try Mudge out on that left side. Uh, he is left-footed, and he can play out there. Wilkins will move over to the right, and Cook and Williams up top. This is a big match. We will give some early encouragement. We're in the yellow. Eastley are in the blue and white. And there's a header in on goal. Murphy makes the save, and he lumps it out. Uh, Good header away by the defense, and we are on our back foot again. Well, there's a nice little tackle attempt by Mudge. He tracks back defensively. Good to see that. A uh, good defensive block by Sloan. And lumped out. Nice. Uh, there was an offsides. Okay. I mean, technically, didn't we just take the free kick and lump it downfield? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> All right, let's encourage him again. We've only had one shot, four for Eastley. All right, I'm starting to starting to freak out a little bit. Tim Cook is dragging. I, I'm, I was worried about his fitness. We'll see if we can get him to halftime. Uh, can we demand more? I hope I didn't just botch that. All right, Wilkins, they get around him pretty easy. Over the top, Sloan has to cut that angle, and he clears it away, but it goes right to Sweeney. Nobody was there helping out in the midfield. Our midfielders were playing a little deeper. Oh, there's a nice header out by Sloan. Williams turns on his man. He is on a breakaway into the box. Oh, and he, he gets it knocked away. Wilkins takes a crack, but it's knocked away as well. Williams and Cook, both very tired. And that's unusual. I didn't see, I saw Cook was a fitness concern. I didn't think Williams was, but, oh, that means we are going to have a little bit of an issue. All right, Johnson intercepts that ball into Williams. There's a through ball. Wilkins cuts it off, and it's tackled away. 
I need better than that from our best player. All right, here's Mudge. He tries to poke it through. Johnson picks out Wilkins. That's a good pass. Finds Mudge, edge of the box, crossed in, and cleared out again. Come on, boys. Don't don't tackle him, Sloan. Jeez, I could, I could just see Sloan doing a two-footed lunge and getting sent off. Oh, and there was a volley by Wood. He was inside of Hemmings, inside the box, but luckily it went wide. All right, we're going to have to make, I think, a sub here. So let's bring Mudge up top for Cook. And then I'm going to bring, let's do this. We're going to drop that. We'll bring White on in the mid. And Williams is just going to have to, Williams is just going to have to hang on. Because I don't think we can do anything about that. I mean, we have, a, we have somebody on the bench. We can maybe bring somebody on later. We've been the better team here. All right, let's give them some more encouragement. <laughs> They've had two to, two to one on shots. They're three to one on XG. All right, Murphy. Plays it out. Headed over to White. Oh, there's a through ball. Mud just had got to be offsides, huh? No, he was not offsides, but Keeper made the save. We pick up a corner out of it. Hemmings puts it over the bar. Oh, thought we were going to get a set-piece goal there. Wilkins is tired. Williams is tired. And Murphy gets beaten by Savino off a header. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's go ahead and pull off that sub here. We're going to bring on Danny Granger, and let's go ahead and pull Williams off for... Rui Martins. We'll, we'll pull both subs early. Oh, that means no subs for 30 minutes. That is... I'm worried about that. Just lumped in. Taylor was beaten by Savino. It was a good header, but I think we could have done a little bit better there. And that puts us two points behind Eastley in the table now. All right, we need to demand more. Let's go up to attacking. Come on, fellas. Nothing. Encourage. We need to pull something on a counter here. Oh, and there's the same freaking play just on the other side, and this time it's Morales beating Sloan for the header. Oh, man. Off of throw-ins with crosses to the back post. God, are they going to nab another one here? Somebody mark him, man. Oh, there's the interception. Flick on header. Mudge is there. Unfortunately, getting a goal back isn't going to do as much of anything. It is knocked wide, and that's probably it. We, we may not even get to take this kick. All right, headed over again, and that's going to be it. 2 nothing defeat. We did better in the second half. I think, I think we showed a little more promise here in the flat 4-4-2 than with the attacking wingers. Uh, I'm going to point the finger. I'm going to hands together. No, I guess we're not going to do any of that. Far from pleased. So that's a disappointing... Uh, turn of events, a draw, and a loss. And now we're even with Concord. Two points behind Eastley. Wow. Abigail's not very happy with us. We lose the top spot. Concord and Bellarique also guarantee playoff spaces. And very, very disappointed. All right, well, let's go ahead and just come back for the end of the season. We've got a couple of matches, so we'll play uh, Maidstone and Salisbury off-camera. Uh, we'll do highlights for Yeovil, and Truro will be our final match of the season. They're eighth in the table. It won't be a gimme. Four, ma four matches to go, two points behind.
Who do they finish up with? Just out of curiosity. So Borum Wood, that could be a chance for us. H and R, not really. Farnborough and Wheelstone. I'd say they've got a pretty pretty easy run in. So we may be playoff bound because playoffs are what? If we finish second or third, we should get a buy, extra time, and then penalty shootouts. Okay. You do get an extra time sub, so that's good to know. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't want three rounds of playoffs, right? Just don't really want to do that. Let's go ahead. I'm going to play it by ear. If we have a shot for automatic promotion, we'll come back here. If we have a shot. If we're out and we're going into the playoffs, then I'm just going to come back for playoffs. Uh, so anyway, we'll play it. We'll play it out that way. Guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to keep up to date for daily football manager content. Thank you so much, as always, for dropping by. Take care. Bye.